Colorado has some of the most beautiful lakes in the world. And since there are thousands of them, I have narrowed it down to the top 15 most beautiful alpine lakes in the state of Colorado. Let's get to it. All right, first up, we have Emerald Lake and Rocky Mountain National Park. This is a pretty easy and short hike to get here. And on the way, you'll also pass by Bear Lake and Dream Lake, which are also very beautiful lakes. Some other lakes to check out on the park would be Sky Pond or Chasm. Next, we have Lake Isabel in the Brainerd Lake Basin area, which is pretty close to Denver. This lake is absolutely beautiful and it is about a six mile round trip hike there. To get there, you'll park by Brainerd Lake, which is also a very beautiful lake, and you'll pass by Long Lake, also beautiful. Up next, we have the Mohawk Lakes near Breckenridge. You'll start at the Spruce Creek Trailhead, and you'll pass by Continental Falls and Lower Mohawk Lakes to Upper Mohawk Lake. You should at least make it to Upper Mohawk Lake. It is about a five and a half mile out and back again trail to Upper Mohawk Lake. If you want, you can keep going, and there's about three more lakes you can check out. If you want to check out more around the Breckenridge area, hit the video in the corner. Crater Lake. This is an absolutely beautiful lake uh, that you can access from the town of Grand Lake or the Monarch Lake Trailhead. It is just over seven miles one way from the Monarch Lake Trailhead. You could also access this from the Brainerd Lake Basin. It is about an eight and a half mile one way trip from the Long Lake Trailhead, which brings you over the pass. This is a great and popular place for backpacking. Next up we have Ice Lake in the Ice Lake Basin near the town of Silverton in southwest Colorado. This is one of my favorite hikes and it is a beautiful basin to check out. There is about a seven mile round trip loop you can take to see Ice Lake Basin. This loop brings you to some of the most beautiful lakes in Colorado along with waterfalls and wildflowers. Great hike. Definitely check it out. Near the town of Minturn, you have Missouri Lakes, which you can access by an eight and a half mile out and back again, mostly difficult trail. This is the beautiful Chihuahua Lake. You can get to the lake via a seven and a half mile round trip hike from the Chihuahua Trailhead near the town of Keystone. The trail is somewhat difficult, but it is absolutely beautiful. From the Willowbrook Trailhead in Silverthorne, you can access these beautiful lakes. These are Willow Lakes and it is about 11 and a half mile round trip with 2,600 feet of elevation gain. So come prepared if you wanna check out these lakes. Near the town of Ridgeway, you can find the Blue Lakes nestled below Mount Sneffels. To get to these beautiful lakes, you'll have to take a six and a half mile round trip hike. This is also called Ice Lake. You can check out this lake and many more when hiking to the top of James Peak from St. Mary's Glacier. It's about an eight mile round trip, but you can make that trip smaller if you take a 4x4 vehicle to Loch Lomond Reservoir. Here is an easily accessed one, Maroon Lake, sitting below the Maroon Bells. You can access it via car or a public bus. But if you want a better view, you can take a 3.5 mile out and back again hike from this lake to Crater Lake, which sits just at the base of the Bells itself. All right, next near Aspen on Independence Pass, you can check out Anderson Lake and its neighbor, Petroleum Lake. You can hike to both these lakes from Grizzly Reservoir in about a nine to 10 mile round trip hike. Although, if you have a good four x four vehicle, you can make it a four mile round trip for both or just a two mile round trip for Anderson Lake by itself. Now, up in Northern Colorado, there are the Twin Crater Lakes near the town of Walden. These lakes are about a 13 mile round trip hike from the West Branch Trailhead. It is a nice area for backpacking, as you'll find more than just the Twin Crater Lakes in the area. Just over a six mile round trip hike from the Million Dollar Highway on the Columbine Trailhead, you'll find Columbine Lake, the bluest lake in Colorado. And it's absolutely beautiful. This is Lake Agnes, situated in State Forest State Park. So you need a state park pass. It is a short but steep 1.6 mile round trip hike to Lake Agnes. Now before I get to the last one and the runner ups, I would like to let you know about my map where you'll find a lot of alpine lakes like this one and all the information on how to get there and pictures and videos and all that fun stuff. Plus waterfalls, hot springs, you name it. It's all on the map, uh, link down in the description. Next we have Cataract Lake north of Silverthorne. 
This is a fun and beautiful lake as you can park really close to it. You can have a picnic here easily. You can go fishing here easily. There's a nice trail that goes around it where you can check out the wildlife and the waterfalls or you can hike to Upper Cataract Lake. But just in general, a good fun lake to go, especially if you're just getting away for the day. Now for the runner-ups. We have Silver Lake with its buildings and ghost towns around it, but it can be pretty difficult to access at times. Also, we have Vallecito Lake and many, many other lakes in the Vallecito Basin, but these are also pretty difficult to access and would be good to check out if you're backpacking in the area. And for a couple easily accessed alpine lakes near the Front Range, we have Last Dollar Lake and the couple lakes around it near Idaho Springs, Colorado. And then we have Herman Gulch, which is near the I-70 Eisenhower Tunnel and that lake. All right, thanks for watching and stay until the end. And if you like this type of stuff, be sure to subscribe for more Colorado and check out my map. Ciao.